I really got an iPhone 11 Pro Max? When the 12 is out? God, I hate my f***ing family so much. Yeah, that's right, I said it. If there truly is a good and just God, how come my parents got me the AirPod Pros when I asked for the AirPod Maxes, huh? What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video and if you too think to yourself, damn, why did my family get me the kinda new iPhone instead of the newest new iPhone, well, you might learn something from this video. Can anyone spare a few dollars for groceries? I have PayPal, Cash App, and Zell. I'm hungry and all my money has gone towards pets. Well, I'm, I'm sure I might have some groceries to give you, perhaps, but why would money suffice? Wait, why would food, which is what you need, suffice? Anyone have a free six cubic foot Samsung oven that they don't need? <laughs> Black Redacted accidentally broke the window of ours and I feel it's not our fault, but Samsung isn't giving us a replacement. Did we break the window? Yes, that's on us, but I don't really feel like it's our fault. Like, you accidentally kick your oven window one time and then all of a sudden Samsung's all like, that's user error and it's not covered under warranty and please stop calling us sir, this is a Wendy's. Like, good lord, get a grip, I'm just looking for one lousy free oven. Hi, is the piano still up for sale? Yes, I've had offers for about 1500 but the asking price is more like 2000 Would you do 1000 <laughs> No? I've had offers for 1500 Why would I go down to 1000 Please? It's nearly Christmas and I'm kinda low on money right now. Why are you buying a 2000 pound piano if you're low on money? You know what? You're a scumbag taking people's money near Christmas. Black Redacted, you f scammer how dare you sell goods or services anytime near a holiday and also if it's Christmas for you doesn't that mean it's Christmas for other people too my baby is sick with COVID and I need to pick up groceries can anyone come by and watch her just be aware you aren't being paid and sometimes the baby cries constantly or throws up so you'll have to deal with that too hun I'm sorry but maybe ask a relative being on a group like this will not get you much help. Yeah, you need to rethink something if you're asking a bunch of people on Facebook, nay, strangers on Facebook, to watch a baby with COVID and throwing up. I don't need to rethink anyone. It's common courtesy to help someone. Just post the address and the baby man will come and babysit her. This does seem like a sh situation, but it is, of course, an equally, if not even shittier solution. You need groceries and you need someone to watch your kid. Instead of trying to get someone to watch your kid so you can get groceries, why not have the groceries come to you? Gosh, if only there was a way to do that. A way to get grocery store food delivered without exposing anyone to your child's potentially deadly virus. Ah, if only. Okay, we have a cheap PC, 2007 or 2008 for sale, $2 apparently. Hi, I'm interested in this computer. Is it still available? Finally, considering the specs are so outdated, they aren't worth anything, would you pay me $80 cash to collect and take away for you? I can pick up first thing tomorrow morning. Cheers. You know, I was about to say something about how a 12-year-old computer could never possibly be worth 80 bucks, but when I reread it, I realized they were asking for $80 just to take the pile of junk off of OP's hands. Imagine thinking your removal services we're almost a hundred bucks more valuable than a literal trash can, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Who would make me a full fursuit with head paws and everything for a hundred dollars? I need to know as soon as possible, oh good lord. Now normally I'd do a whole bit where I'd look up the actual cost of the item to show just how unreasonable this post was, but jeez man, I sure do not want to look this one up. Uh, you know what, alright, fine, I'll do it but only because my editor's the one who's gonna have to live with this in her search history. All right, let's take a look. Uh, full fursuit with head paws and everything. Yup, look at that. They're more expensive than the man is asking for. Ha, dumb choosing beggar dummy, got him again. We're recruiting. We're calling for the best. Designers, researchers, media nerds, animators, managers, writers, videographers, and thinkers to join let's say, a very big passion project. If you require pay, you're not what we're looking for. Only requirement to apply, the passion of making cool sh Yeah, and then at the end of the month when you're working for them, your landlord's gonna be like, I require pay, and you're gonna have to say that he lacks the passion for making cool sh 
that you truly desire in a landlord. In response, your landlord is just gonna say, you're, let's just say, evicted. Are you lonely, both physically and figuratively? Have you always wanted to talk to other people who watch Reddit videos? Well, I don't know about the last one, but regardless of your rationale, come on down to the greatest Discord server east of the Mississippi, with highest quality voice and video chat, plus emotes of my staff members' pets, and a teeny tiny Baja Blast. What more could you want? You can join at the link in the description or discord.gg forward slash aesthetic boys. And if you don't join, your mom's a hoe. Yo, what's good? Wanna be a designer for us? Paid position? Uh, bro, why do all designers say this sh You sit there for like one to five hours on a piece of art and expect to be paid. Players sit there all day grinding clips and don't get paid. That's right, I don't get paid, so you don't deserve to get paid for your work because that's how this sh works. Yo bros, I have 59 followers. Doing a giveaway will be giving 35 awards to all my followers, but the more followers I get, the more coins I need, so please feel free to give some Reddit coins. Now this guy isn't your average r slash teenager's cringy beggar, no, not quite. This man is playing 4D chess and nobody realizes it. This, my friends, is a pyramid scheme. That's right, I said it, a pyramid scheme. He has 59 followers and he wants to promise them 35 awards, but he doesn't have the coin for that, so he says, look, if you guys follow me new and give me coins, you'll get in on this 35 award action too, and just as he sends that Reddit DM, he's already over to his original 59 followers, using the new investment to pay off the original 59. This cycle only has to repeat seven more times until the Elite Platinum Continental Jewel members get a brand new entry level BMW as Reddit coin fever sweeps middle-aged stay-at-home moms across the country. Hey, I saw from your profile you design YouTube profiles and all that. I really like your work and I have a job for you. See, my granddaughter, six years old, got a tablet for Christmas and wants to start a YouTube channel. I want to surprise her with a cool layout. Could you do that? Yeah, sure thing. I could absolutely do that. While I don't usually cater to that kind of clientele, I'm sure I'd be happy to design something she'll be happy with. Are you okay with my pricing and payment options for my bio? I just need to establish that before I get started on any work. Yeah, that's fine by me. She likes Roblox and Fortnite, so just try to make one like that and she'll be really happy. Okay, I'll try to get started on it soon. I have COVID at the moment, so could be a few days, a week before I can show you any sort of a preview because I'm sort of under the weather. You shouldn't have taken the commission if you knew you weren't going to finish it. It's her birthday on Thursday. Have it done by then. I apologize for the inconvenience, man. I have really bad symptoms at the moment, so I can't work right now. I might feel better tomorrow, but I can't guarantee that I'll have it done by Thursday. <laughs> I see how it is. I have full screen caps of this conversation ready to send to the Federal Trade Commission, so you'd want to wise up quick before you scam me out of my ordered goods. Look, it's fine if you don't want to go through with this. You haven't actually paid me anything yet, so you can't try to get me tried for undelivered goods or whatever it is you're trying to attempt. Trust me, pal. I've worked in retail long enough to know the full reach of the long arm of the law. If you can work at a discounted rate, I might tolerate your tardiness. You know, I was actually going along with the buyer for a while there. At the least, I could see where they were coming from. Even under such unfortunate circumstances contracting COVID, I understand the frustration of paying someone for something and then the seller failing to deliver, but they didn't pay for it. All of this talk of contract and obligation somehow trying to rope the FTC in, and of course, the incredible phrase, as clunky as it was, full reach of the long arm of the law. Sounds like somebody's been watching way too many cop shows. Thank you for following us. Please enjoy this $5 off $25 promo code first order. A total of $5 only. Yeah, off your purchase of $25 or more. That's not really a deal. Yeah, homie, if the business is small enough that they are personally DMing you when you follow them, $5 off $25 is plenty. Hello, is this TV still available? Yep, it's available. Do you deliver? No. Where are you located? Poorly white redacted. Kinda out of the town. If I come to you, do you mind if I stay over for a couple nights? I can bring a sleeping bag or we can share the bed. No! I'm good. Can you imagine you're just trying to sell a 50 inch Philips smart TV on Facebook Marketplace and a homie is like, now hear me out. Sleepover.
Private home with furnished bedroom, rent and utilities included. $300 a month rent. Beautifully remodeled, two years ago duplex. Trade for light duty care of parent at bedtime and stay on property overnight. In trade for daily and weekly duties. Light duty at night. We have caregivers 12 hours a day that care for parent during the day. We live next door on site in case of emergency. Light duty, about 35 minutes in the evening, bedtime. Crush and feed medication, help with dentures, lotion on legs, tuck in for night. Occasional food prep, clean hall bathroom and laundry room, recycle and garbage, take out every Monday evening, dust living room and common areas, occasional shopping and running errands, must have good running vehicle. Be mindful when out in public and follow COVID protocol. Always wash hands when entering residence. Wear a mask when attending to mom in her room. That's right, you can pay me $300 for this room and you will become my mom's live-in caregiver. Now that's a deal too good to pass up. 